Microphones, please. Microphone. Please call roll. I'm Certainly. sorry, let's uh, I'll start. This is a special meeting of the Now Then City Council. This is Thursday, June 16th, 2022. It is 5.40 p.m. Uh, this is a special meeting for uh, uh, approval of a couple of culvert repairs and then uh, reviewing our semi-finalist for the administrator position. And so, Frank, now would you call roll? Certainly. Mayor Pilon? Here. Councilmember Holders? Here. Councilmember Blake? Yes, here. Councilmember Greenberg? Here. Councilmember Rainville? Present. All right. I'm looking for a motion to uh, approve the agenda, which we have to do because that's what was posted. Mr. Mayor, I move the agenda as presented. I have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Go ahead, Jason. Motion from uh, Councilmember Rainville, second from Councilmember Alders. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have a consent agenda. We have two items. And this is the uh, approval of a resolution approving ditch and culvert repair and maintenance work at Twin Lakes uh, Road and 203rd Avenue. And then approval of the uh, resolution for ditch and culvert repair and maintenance work at approximately 8400 block of 211th Avenue. Any questions on those? Mr. Mayor, point, point of information, please. Uh, your, your initial graphic did not show the culvert in my very sophisticated way uh, because I hadn't caught up with Joe yet. So this little one-inch line here with the two uh, brackets around it is the kelp culvert to be worked on. What's happening is it's it's clogged, so it's backing up the water. And I, I thought that the property owner was going to be here tonight, but apparently he's elected that there are other better things to do on a 85 degree evening. Maybe on his boat. Was, he may be on his <laughs> boat. <laughs> Wouldn't Make that be mad. something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he didn't want to start tonight. All right, so those two culvert repairs, we have the, uh, the information and the cost. Do we have a, a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? I make a motion that we approve the consent agenda as amended. As presented? All as right. presented, not amended. Motion <laughs> Council Unless Member I want Blake. to amend it. <laughs> I second that. And second from Council Member Rainville. All uh, approval, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Now the big one. We are reviewing our semi-finalist list using numbers, no names. Selecting four to six finalists for city council interviews on July 11th, 2022. In reviewing the and approving the process for July 11th, uh, considering any reimbursements, uh, consider options for showcasing and informing candidates about City of Now Then, determining interview day schedule and participants, and other business as appropriate. So, Pat, you want to lead us through the, uh, the process here? Certainly. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, so, we had a uh, a number of individuals that had applied for the position, uh, as you well know, and so there were a total of uh, uh, 25 applicants uh, with various different backgrounds. Uh, knowing that there was a desire to, you know, review all those candidates, there were uh, 24 candidates that were advanced uh, to the council. Uh, for review and when I say advanced what I mean is they went through and they did a video interview and they also took a personality assessment uh, since that time we have had a few individuals drop out 
sometimes that's because they have applied at other places and perhaps got a uh, an offer or in some situations uh, individuals maybe hadn't done much research and uh, they chose to remove themselves from the applicant pool so uh, there were some individuals that also did that so uh, we took those uh, initial 24 Just for clarification Pat yeah the, the 24 that went forward you sent the information to them for the personality profile and the videos but not all of those completed those of those 24 there were a number of them that Thank did, you for didn't complete yes. the video and and so for whatever reason they in effect withdrew their name because they didn't do the, the assignment correct there there was a deadline by which we said and multiple times we you know sent emails we sent them a reminder uh, in advance uh, saying you know your deadline is coming up please have this completed by such and such a date um, and have not heard back from any of those individuals uh, even to this day so um, between individuals who didn't complete their uh, their video interview and their personality assessment and individuals who chose to withdraw their application our number has gotten down to what we're looking at tonight which is uh, 14 uh, individuals um, one of the things that uh, the personnel committee did sit down and review uh, applicants and did put together a list that they felt were stronger in terms of being candidates for the administrator position uh, there were at that time there were 12 individuals uh, that we were looking at uh, two of those individuals removed themselves uh, so that brings us down to uh, 10 individuals that were recommended by the personnel committee after their initial review of all the applicants and one of those failed to do the video in the correct yes well actually we're down to nine of them nine yes yep correct so yeah we're down the to nine that are highlighted are active still looking for an opportunity to work here right all of these are all 14 right all 14 yeah are yes. interested in the, the job. nine are the ones before we had any of the video or personality those are the ones that we sat down as a team pat and frank and linda and i and went through and said okay these are the ones we would recommend rather than go through 24 of them here's the 12 to focus on and of those two withdrew and one didn't do the I got you. Same. I got you. All right. So our task here now is to go ahead and to narrow from uh, the existing uh, 14 to 4 to 6. Any, anywhere from 4 to 6. Uh, and so typically what, what we've done in the past, what I've done is just gone around the table and ask asked individual council members to let me know what your top four are and then based on that what we can do is we can identify agreement amongst the council uh, and Frank uh, and also uh, identify you know who's kind of on the edge uh, after we've identified those that are, that are strong candidates then we'll take a look at those that are on the edge and have more discussion but uh, that's kind of the process that I would like to pursue here this evening. So if whoever wants to start, if you just want to let me know your, and it doesn't have to be in any sort of order, but just your top four candidates from those that are listed. And we'll re make reference to them by n numbers, not names, because at this point, all those individuals that have applied their name remains confidential uh, once they have been invited in for an interview by the council that's when it becomes public information and what we will do is uh, DDA human resources will put together a short bio on each of those candidates and provide that to uh, administrator uh, Boyles uh, in the morning so that if you want to share that with the newspaper that's certainly something that the council can decide to do so all right well, Mr. 
Mr. Mayor. So Rainville. I'll go first. Um, my candidates would be number nine, number 14, number three, and number seven. Nine, fourteen, three, seven. just to yep. clarify, thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Alders. Uh, 9, 14, 12, and 11. Could you say that one more time? 9, 14, 12, and 11. Linda? 9, 7, 11, and 14. Joel? 14, 9, 12, 7. Mine are 9, 7, 14, and 3. We're pretty close. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, can, can we just go through? Jeff, could you repeat yours? I'm 9, 7, 14, and 3. And Joel, yours were again? 14, 9, 12, 7. And Linda? 9, 7, 14, and 11. Oops. What was it again? 9, 7, 14, and 11. Thank you. Uh -huh. So based on that, we have three candidates that uh, uh, came up with four or, I'm sorry, Frank, were you going to, did you want, did, did the council wish to have, I don't know, it's up to them. Do I hear what Frank had to say? I, Mr. Mayor. How's my radio? I would, given I his expertise in the field. Yeah, but so I don't think it should go to the board. I think the vote should be the council, but I think we should hear what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yes. 9, 12, 14, 11. <laughs> well, that just throws a wrinkle into it. Yeah, that really <laughs> threw it off. <laughs> Frank, we're twins. Yeah. All right. So there were... Three that uh, uh, received four or more council votes. That was number seven, number nine, and number 14. Nine, 14, and seven, right? Correct. Nine, 14, seven. And then the only other two that are on there is that is 12 and 3. 11 was, 11, there, 11 was on there too. Yep, 11, 12, and number 3. 11, 12, and 3. Let's see. 11, 12, and 3. And both 11 and 12 had the support of the interim administrator. So that's six if you want to interview six. Mm -hmm. which, Two nights. Which we do have uh, candidates that do withdraw as, as things happen. I mean, it won't be until uh, July 11th that we conduct the interviews. Uh, then so. we should have six. <clears throat> We want to do five. Sure 11 was my fourth choice. What was that, Jason? 
But if we want to do five, 11 was my fourth choice. I don't know where that's stacked up on Linda's. And I didn't have 11. So if we chose everyone that got our votes, we'd have six, right? Right. We just, we just have six people that got the votes, right? Do we well, have anybody outside of the six? You'd have seven. One, Which is three. the... Which one is seven? Or no, I'm, no you're right. I'm you'd sorry. you six. So there it is. Yeah, no, you're right. And those, those six are, are in, in all of our numbers. So, yeah. I mean, I Let's think that's like great alignment, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, Con I mean, considering everything we went through to get to this point, <laughs> yeah, I find that incredible. So, <laughs> well, Me I too. Mean, <laughs> I, I guess I don't because when you go through the resumes, I mean, there's some people that clearly have experience, education, did better than the person. And there are some that are just like, yeah. uh, they should have, like, Never applied. Well, they should, whatever. I mean, they should have been zeroed out because they, they're yeah. not even, they don't have any of the experience that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I thought it was fairly easy to go through. So if we want to interview six, let's go with these six. So we're going with nine, seven, 14, 11, and what? Nine, 14, 7, 12, 3, and 11. Yeah. 12, oh, three. Three got in there. Okay. Three. Who's three? The I will oh. point out, I have been informed by candidate number 14 oh. that there is a scheduling conflict with July 11th. I oh. did not go any further other than to respond and say thank you for notifying us. Well, we got two days for interviews though, right? Can't you make it the other day? We're going to need two days because yeah. we can't get six of them in on starting okay. at four o'clock. So. Mm -hmm. So we've got July 11th is the day that we have established. So if we're um, having someone from out of town, yes. can we Zoom them or do they have to come in? And that's entirely up to you. Uh, the question I guess I would pose to you, would you be comfortable hiring somebody that you don't meet face to face? Yeah. yeah right. If someone were to do a Zoom call, would you be comfortable? Uh, My preference would be to have an in-person. But then, Mr. Mayor? Councilman Rango. But then do we pay travel costs, or is it on the budget of the applicant? It's on them. Really? Well, as a council, that's something we'd have to vote on. Yeah. I, I'm not in favor of uh, paying for paying transport. For we have five others that are local. And, uh, so I guess the other question is, if that individual got it, are we paying reload? That's, that's the second part. Because yeah. there'll, there'll be housing and moving and those costs. Mm -hmm. So if we're, it's gonna come up. And, and, uh, and, and where would that relocation be? Because. You're selling it now that goes pretty quick or goes pretty high. So. Well, I mean, it would have, it would have to be a, a reasonable driving distance, right? I mean, they don't have to move to this town, but it has Correct. to be, a, it has to be a, a reasonable commute, whatever we believe reasonable. Something is. less than what Frank's doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they believe reasonable is two hours, that's fine, but that seems like that would not be reasonable. That's pretty amazing, I think. Well, I think for the most part, as a council, we do agree. I mean, because our focus is what's best for now. Then, yes. it's true. So we done. So <laughs> what I'll look what to have is a council motion to approve those those numbers: candidates three, seven, nine. 11, 12, and 14. Mr. Mayor. Councilman Rainville. I would move that the council recommends um, putting forward candidates numbers 3, 7, 9, 11, 12, and 14 for semi finalists. Actually, this would be finalist. Or finalist, yes, excuse me. Thank you. We have a motion from Councilman Rainville. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Second from Councilmember Alders. Any discussion? 
Seeing and hearing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. So of those candidates, uh, we have uh, one, well, I should say two individuals that are out of state, one that is in Wichita, Kansas, and one that is in New uh, Richmond, Wisconsin. So just not that that changes anything, but just for your knowledge, those individuals will be coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Did you receive any inquiries? Uh, uh, no. Hey, would you pay my freight to get up here and back? At this point, we have not received any queries about that. Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Rainville. Should, have we voted on that amendment or that motion yet? What yes, motion? we did. Too. Okay, never mind. I just was going to ask should we amend it to say that we are not covering the cost of transportation? Yeah. Okay. So it will be a two-day ordeal, is that what I understand? Yeah, so the dates are, Frank, what are the dates again that we got picked up? July 11th. July 11th? I really hadn't contemplated this. July 11th? Yeah, we, 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 we had said it was going to be the 11th and the 14th because you're busy on the 12th. Yeah, 11th and the 14th. And, we, and so it's our council meeting will have to be rescheduled from the 14th to the following Tuesday. The That's where the 19th That's where the, yep, yep, yep. yep. So I was initially thinking it was just July 11th. So it's going to be July 11th and the 14th. Is that? Yes, yeah. because because part of the council can't make it. They're stretching it to get here by four, and six hours starting at four would be probably unfair to the last candidates. Okay. So what time will we meet then? So we'll still meet it. Four o'clock. So we're still in minute four. On the 11th. On the 11th. Mm -hmm. We said five on the 14th. But I can do four. I'll match. You can do four? Mm -hmm. Perfect. July 11th. Okay, and the 14th, did you say? Yep. And that's at five. Five o'clock? Four o'clock. Both, both are going to be 14. Both the 11th and the 14th are both four o'clock. Okay, we had it five. We changed it. Okay. Yes, we're changing it now. They just changed it just now. Okay, well, okay. I can't keep up, obviously. We're making it work for you, Linda. Well, thank you. <laughs> for me. <laughs> so thoughtful. Okay, what? let's see. Nineteenth will be at city council meeting, normal time, mm -hmm. and Four. the twenty-first will be a budget work session. That I can't make. What was the budget work session? July twenty-first. Uh, and there's another one too. In yeah, August. the other one we have to. Uh, I can't another one in that June, one. but that's on P and Z day. Okay, let's stick on the, on the 19th. All right, so what else do we have here? So on our agenda? 19th. Reimbursement. Let's take a motion. Uh, council choose to reimburse applicants for interview expenses. Mr. Mayor. Council Mayor. Right I would move that we uh, offer no reimbursement uh, to the candidates. All right, we have a motion. Do we have a second? I second it. Motion by Councilmember Rainville, second by Councilmember Blake. Any other discussion? Seeing and hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Consider options for showcasing and informing candidates about the city of Melvin. Um, I, I made a note before, I think if, if they've got the initiative, they've probably taken a tour. Mm -hmm. um, they will certainly get a full tour once they're offered a position. But if they want to come and see the town, it's on the, on their nickel and their time. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, we're we're showing 
six people on a, a very short tour. Yeah. But I, I would recommend, if any of the candidates are watching this uh, meeting, uh, all of our meetings are online, uh, the website's available, um, and our city is open. We have wonderful restaurants you can come and, and uh, participate in. We have a farmer's market on Thursdays. So avail yourself of what's going on in the city and, uh, and come prepared to tell us what you know about now then. Mm -hmm. Right. Would the council mind if we, for those candidates who wanted to do it, arranged to have them come in half an hour early and take a walk through the city offices? That's where they're going to work. They get to meet Adrian and Natalie a bit, and it gives them some background that they otherwise wouldn't have. Less formal, less stressful, and we can assure they're here within a buffer, so they get here, we get them there on time. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Council so, okay with that? So, Mr. Yep. Great. All right. Mr. Mayor. Councilman Raymond. I, I, got, I just am trying to picture this. So the one that comes at 4 o'clock is going to come in at 3.30, go to city offices. Yep. Okay. And then the one at, that's at 4, how, how, what hour. is it? An hour. So at the 5 o'clock one will come in at 4.30. The six o'clock comes in at five thirty, but offices and staff them. So, will you just adjust Don't hours? Stick okay, perfect. I, I just that's I I'm pretty just much thinking all that. that. Okay, they have an interest. All right, that's fine. Yeah. And just to point out an, another option, and what we typically do is, is staff does have an opportunity to interview uh, candidates. So, I mean, obviously now then it's a much smaller city, but uh, in other recruitments. Typically, uh, the council does spend about an hour with each candidate, but mm -hmm. in what we've done previously, uh, staff does sit down and they have a half an hour interview with the candidate. Mm -hmm. They then can su submit in writing something to the council saying, you know, I thought, you know, Joe Blow answered this question exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. uh, he was very personable. Or if they have something of concern, they can say, you know, his answer to this question showed that he really didn't understand a, a specific area. Uh, and and you, that's... You want to make sure, though, that not using Joe Blow's name, he uses a number tonight, so... Y yes, yeah. yes, Joe, <laughs> Joe Blow, number 17. <laughs> uh, but yes, so, I mean, there are different ways for you to incorporate staff mm -hmm. input, and I know I talked a little bit with uh, uh, Frank about it. You know, it is very beneficial in giving staff some ownership and who is going to be their future boss their you know as the city administrator. So would that so. include everybody even like the maintenance and everybody who's on staff? Uh, on that? It could be what you you know if you just want it to be the immediate staff just the administration department if you want to open it up to public works if you want to even invite some of the contract employees to you know, again, they have a technical expertise, which they may be able to pick up, you know, if there's a question, uh, if someone truly knows what they're talking about, or if someone is maybe trying to allude that they know more than they really do, they might be able to, to identify that for you and say that, uh, you know, their planning and zoning knowledge is not as expansive as it may seem. What... Uh I guess one concern I would have is I, I like the idea of some staff feedback, but let's say these people come through and, and uh, for whatever reason, and I was, I was cautioned about this from administrators from other cities, some people interview really well and, and don't perform as well. Some people come across really good in a short visit like that as opposed to an interview for an hour here. Um, say staff says, I really liked candidate three or 14 or seven, let's go 17. I really like candidate 17. And we don't pick candidate 17. Does that also set up a disappointment? Or how does, how does that, you know, I, I like the idea of them saying, got good, good vibes when they were here and they, they had good professional answers to things. 
But if that's, and they decide a different candidate than the council does, what does that say to the staff? And I think what we try and stress is the fact that the council has significantly more information about the individuals, confidential information that staff are not privy to. Mm -hmm. uh, so their input can be helpful, but it does not make the decision and that there's obviously a lot more information that you will have access to that staff may not be aware of. So uh, they can aid and assist you in making that decision, but they do not make the decision. Yes. Mr. Mayor. That's about right now. I have a question. Are we in, under any, because this is public hiring and the regulations on hiring in the public field, are we under any requirement that if candidate 17 is asked a question that candidate 18 is asked the same and 19 and no one is so with those questions how do we do that in the fact that this is going to they're going to come in at 4:30 or 3:30 and then at 4 and then at how do we know that we're at consistent with the questions we're asking or is it not as relevant because it's staff and not council i, I just don't want to and I want to make sure we're doing it correctly. Great question. Yeah. And yes, we will have uh, predetermined questions, okay. right. and uh, individuals will be advised to stick to those questions. Okay. Right. If a uh, candidate offers some information and you want clarification, you know, once it's brought up by them, you can ask clarifying mm -hmm. questions. You can, you know, say, you know, you mentioned this, but can you tell me more detail about that? Mm -hmm. So, um, we now, will what, I, what I hear council member eight member eight is saying is staff. Staff. Yeah. If they're over there just hosting while we're finishing up with the next one, they may just be having general conversation and they may say, you know, candidate seventeen volunteered this in our general conversation. Candidate nineteen, it never came up. Because I know we're very disciplined here that there will be a prescribed list of questions mm -hmm. that we'll stick to and unless they offer anything mm -hmm. addition, we stick to the questions and, and hope that they're, they're forthcoming in, in their answers. But the question is, do we get in any difficulty because staff may venture down a different road with each candidate? Yes, I think we do try and stick with you know, asking the same questions. If encountering people in the hallway or between interviews or something like that comes up, um, you know, certainly that information can be relayed. I don't think that's a problem, but we're definitely not going to base our decision on kind of, you know, in between meetings. Um, so are you saying that, that we, would, we would guide staff on if you're chatting with these people while they're over there taking the tour of the facilities. If you're going to ask them questions, stick to these questions and ask, yeah. them the same, ask all of them the same question. And if they have any general observations, they're perfectly fine to provide those general observations. And if those general observations are, you know, when you met this person, what was your initial impression? Were they inquisitive? Or you can certainly go there as well. We, we can give them some guidance as to that yes and you know, were they inquisitive were they knowledgeable did they ramble on did they sit in the corner and mm -hmm. look at their phone until yes their hour came up yeah but we want the 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 brunt of our decision to be based on how well they're answering those work related questions uh both from st from staff but also more importantly even you know during the council interview that's where you get and, uh, and, and again, we would be very clear with staff that their, their additional information is not the, the deciding factor. Um, I'm sorry. Councilman Rainbow. I'm sorry, were you done? Uh, no, I was going to mention, uh, it, it had come up in an email from Frank, that one of the things we had talked about, because uh, a key component of our agenda packets is the RCAs, is putting out a, an RCA to the finalist, uh, an appropriate one. I, I told Frank I thought one suggested may be a little too detailed, but here's a typical scenario. Here's the facts that are, the staff has to deal with, prepare an RCA. Mm -hmm. And you would assume they'd go to the meeting minutes and take a look at the pattern that's there or watch the meetings online. And, uh, 
but that would be part of it. They'd bring in an RCA, and, and we did this with employees in the past. We uh, we had them go and create a special announcement for for a deputy clerk, and they came back and said, "Here's how I would put that together." So I, I think the exercise is is reasonable. Um, do we want to do that? Mr. Mayor? Councilmember Rainbow. I, I believe that's appropriate. It's going to be part of their job, so. All right, rest of the council. Sure. I don't have an opinion one way or the other, actually. So it doesn't well, matter. Yeah, um, if they've done it in the past, it should be, um, I'd say, 80% familiar with them. Just a little fine-tuning verbiage of our own little RCA might be different, but in general, they should understand what's being asked of them. So I'm okay with it. Okay. All right, and then Mr. Mayor. How's my rating? Um, so the other, so another piece to my question of what questions are they gonna ask? Um, we also need to be very careful in that they don't ask questions that they can't ask. And um, not everybody understands those questions and, yeah. and unless you're in a HR, uh, so that they are aware of what they can't ask of the candidates. We, and do you have a list of? Yeah. Yes, we do have a two-page document that I'll send out okay. to all the council members as well as the staff. You know, certain questions, you know, what church do you belong to or something like that yeah. would be inappropriate. Uh, yeah. Do we love this? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't know the status. status. Yeah. All that good stuff, right? Yeah. But a lot of people don't know that. That's, yeah. And, and you even, hate to get well, in trouble. And, 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 and especially if, if you are, are very outgoing and, and congenial anyway, you might not catch that. Thing, yeah. so. And if they tell you, that's fine. You just can't ask. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. We so back, back to the point. So you're saying that, you know, again, we'll have prescribed questions that we'll, mm -hmm. we'll cover. Um, if they add additional information, we didn't, we didn't go there, but they, they did. We, do we have to then say the last person offered this information? We just stick to the questions right. for and each of the six candidates. And if, if, if they decide to add extra, that's up to them, but because one added extra, we don't have to go down that road with any of the others. Correct. No, as, as long as you're, they volunteer it, you're asking for a clarify, you know, to clarify a response that they've already provided. No, we'll, we'll stick with the questions and then any additional information that comes up, it, just ensure that you have a good understanding of what that is. There's no requirement that kind of supplemental questions be asked of every candidate. Okay. I think we strayed really far from what Frank <laughs> proposed in the first place. That it was going to be a comfortable, um, here's what the city offices look like and, and, and give them a little downtime before they come in in the hot seat. And it feels like we're going to give all these questions, be sure you get these questions and get it right. All of no. a sudden it becomes, wait, I'm not finished. <laughs> all of a sudden it becomes uh, a mini a mini interview, and Correct. I think that makes it okay. different than what he. What I'm saying is it's a lot different than what he proposed. It's not a downtime. It's not. It's like a little mini in interview before they come to the big one. And I just want to make sure we understand that that's the avenue we're going down. This, I, I want to clarify because the questions I was asking, and, and I thought Councilman Rainville were asking, really had to do with us just to make sure that they knew there are certain things, if they're chatting with them, you don't ask these things. I, okay, I didn't understand. It sounded me, to me like you wanted to give them, you can ask these questions. Here's the questions you can't ask. That's what you're talking about. Yes, I want to make sure they understand. They so they can relax yeah. and, and just talk to them on normal level. And here's the offices, here's anything. what we have, here's, here's the environment you'd be working in, um, but, don't ask what your house, personal. How many kids do you have? You can't, I mean, you that's can't. the stuff that you want to stay away from, yeah. right? Yeah. Can I, can I so we just want to make sure that they understand that if they're chatting, and if they happen to have some information, they can send it to the council as part of the decision. Okay. Uh, but they're not, you know, they're not saying, 
we're all voting for number 17. You know, they don't well, get a vote. And, and I thank you for having staff meet with candidates and having discussion with them and then asking for them to provide their input based on that, even though you may not term it an interview, uh, it is kind of an interview. Yeah. Uh, so I just would, I guess, caution, if you decide to go the route, you know, that Frank had mentioned of just having them come in and just half an hour beforehand and just mm -hmm. having interaction, random interaction, um, and then having staff base their review on that random half an hour interaction, that would be kind of worrisome to me because it's, it's still an interview uh, if they're providing that input to the council. And I think it would be better to be structured and in a way that you know the questions ahead of time. Okay. So everybody has an equal opportunity. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Councilman Raymond. Again, I don't mean to muddy the waters, but we are, there are things that we have to adhere to. There's do's and don'ts. And a very casual conversation can get, get into some real quick don'ts. And again, that, that each candidate is asked the same questions um, so that we're, everything is above board. That's true. That's yeah. very true. And then, and, uh, I guess the other portion of that you had mentioned maybe contractors. Mm -hmm. So we have two attorneys, a building official, a planner, an engineer. Um, right off the top of my head, they um, be that that could be a whole nother hour in itself, and and each one being, and say grilled, but you know, identifying a well, particular. Profession, what do you know about that? I mean, that yeah. Mr. Mayor, mm -hmm. Councilmember Alders. I would propose we bring them over to the city offices like Frank proposed and have the staff give them like a general tour of where they would be working and what their position is in the staff. And if we want to have them ask specific questions, we let Frank do that. That Frank has. There you here's, go. Here's two questions that Frank wants to ask, and mm -hmm. Frank gives us the input, and we use the staff as, hey, they're going to be the tour guides, and they're going to show them where they work and what their specific role is in now then, versus trying to have those team members ask questions. I would say Frank has probably got the capacity, not yeah. that they don't, but Frank is in a position where he could say, all right, I know I'm asking the same questions to everybody. We're not going to go down some rabbit hole. Your role in this is to make them feel welcome, show them around, see if they need anything, get them a water, get them a coffee, get them a pop, show them what you do, and then tell them some cool stuff about now then and leave it at that. There and you then, go. Yeah. And That's then let it. Frank say, Frank gets two questions to ask all of them, mm -hmm. and then we want Frank's input based on his merit with his role. Frank has interacted for six plus months with Shane and Liz. Yeah. If he wants to reach out to Shane and Liz and say, all right, what questions? And he would he would be the conduit for that. I so, agree. so we keep it at his level and our, our level. There you go. That's I agree. Perfect. I like that. Yeah. Yes. And so, I think that's along the lines of what you were asking, Frank. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Kind of was. So Mr. Mayor. Very good. Councilman Ray. I, to clarify, so then Frank won't be here for the inter interviews. He'll be over there for the half hour tours. No. And he'll come no. back, or won't he? No, he'll be here. He'll be here when yeah, it starts. He'll be here. So. But he'll, he'll bring them over. But yeah. They'll but be there a half hour. Then before. He's gonna, then he's going to bring them over. So he'll... Right, and then we have an hour with that? And yeah, but he's not going to be here for the hour that we're doing the interview. Well, that was my question. Is Frank here as part of the interviews? Good point. Yeah, that's... Because he can't because be. Because I, I understand you where you're coming from, out. Council Member Alders. I, I would like Mr. Boyles to be... Um, present for the interviews based on his experience both within the city of now then in these months that he's been with us and his previous year's experience. Not unlike what the, if the staff asks questions and things like that, we are still the decision makers, but I think Frank can provide good input as he did, you know, with when we had Frank's numbers here. So 
he wouldn't be over there for half, you know. And maybe we're getting too deep in the weeds. We are. We I, are. I just, <laughs> we but again, are. I, I prefer that Frank be part of the interview process. Um, whether he asks questions, we have to determine that. But just what he hears from candidates, I think, is important for us to hear what, what he thinks he, he's hearing from them. Commissioner Mayor. I think the rub comes where uh, the end of one interview is going into the half hour tour time mm -hmm. and you can't be in two places at one once. Yeah. once. Always been an area I wanted to improve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, uh, we would like Frank to be part of this, so Frank can, uh, can work it out with staff how that's going to be. I just want to make sure that they are aware of the two pages of don't talk about these things. So. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if they have strong opinions when, when Frank goes to pick them up and bring them back here, or however we handle that, they can uh, leave a note with Frank. Won't, won't Frank bring him over so he'd be here for the interview? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just saying, if he goes over to pick them up and bring them back here, staff can, can leave him a note saying, I was impressed by such and such, or I was concerned about such and such. Yeah, Frank can just bring them over. But as long has... as they know, don't, don't wander down these uh, unauthorized questions. You can't well, ask these questions. Jason just made it pretty clear that what they, they would do is just tell them what they do, what their job is, introduce themselves, what their job is, and that and show them around but there isn't we're not asking them to ask any questions they're just going to introduce themselves mm -hmm. and what they do yeah that would I'm, be, I'm just saying frank's it. the only one going to ask questions right frank is that what you understood it sounds like it so I'm, I'm just saying that, that in a general um, pleasant conversation you might say oh, how many kids do you have mm -hmm. how long have you been married Oh, you go to church? Where do you go to church? So those types of things are, just say, don't, don't go there. Yes. Because cause we have very friendly staff. And they're very spiritual. So just to talk about, you know, so we're going to have two different dates, the 11th and the 14th. We could have six candidates. Um, how late is the council thinking about going from 4 to 10 o'clock? Um, kind of, I guess, what is, are you thinking about doing three interviews each, uh, each night? Uh, if, 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 we, if, if, it, if we're going to, if we end up with all six of them, that would probably be reasonable because that's, that's three hours plus transition time and discussion time, so. Okay. Does that sound okay? So, yeah, no, that would work. That would work. Then you would have some time in between. So what I would try and do is I'd try and schedule about, you know, 15, 20 minutes in between interviews and ask them to come early and spend, you know. Whoever comes at 6 o'clock hour brings dinner. <laughs> I want to get them trained in right. Here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mayor. Councilmember Greenberg. If I remember back to the planning and zoning commissioner interviews, mm -hmm. didn't each one slowly get 10 minutes over and then the next one yep. 20 minutes over and then the last one was half minute, half hour mm -hmm. over. Yep. I think three on each day would be great just in case we have a little bit of slide happening. Yeah. yeah. It's later and later, you're right. Yeah. So maybe schedule one for four, then for 5.15, then for, you know, 6.30, yeah, to give them a little bit of wiggle room. I mean, if you get done early, it's only a few minutes, and, you know, can order obvious. Pizza during that time. Yeah, one of the things that we really want to make sure we have time for is for the candidates to ask questions of you mm -hmm. as the council. Right. That'll show how much homework and what their knowledge is of now and then. So, yeah, I, I agree to have a little bit of wiggle room with each of those.
just a, a thought, you know, in, in terms of kind of helping them to prepare. Uh, you know, we can send them a copy of the budget. Uh, is there any other documents? We're not going to do any physical tour of, of now then, but are there any documents that the council would like them to have in advance um, that you think showcases now then or makes them more informed of their decision to apply? I'll, I'll put that to Frank. You know, I mean, of all the things we've thrown at you, whether it's you know, a variety of documents that are maybe not as thorough as others, but certainly the budget is the most refined. Hmm. Um, what would you have found helpful coming in? Uh, in just some, some will want the audit, <clears throat> which we now have. Um, we, we've already got the piece that kind of parades the community. Mm -hmm. Add it again. Who knows how much mm -hmm. they focused on it. Uh, what do we call that? I'm sorry. A profile? Profile. profile. Yeah. Yeah. Helps. Yeah. Is there any chamber material or anything like that? Okay. Mr. Mayor. That's all right. No. Um, what, one of the things I'd like to see added, and we're just doing links to things, right? We're not, we'll just give them links to it. Yeah, yeah. So is our comp comments. plan. Because there were numerous ones that mentioned <laughs> was right. about that development and, you know, it's coming and how do we, you know, that they understand that that's not a big push in now then. We're not looking to be Ramsey. We're not looking yeah. to be, you know. So. Okay. Yeah, we can certainly send that out to, to all the finalists so that they have that available Great. to review and comment on. Okay. Mr. Mayor. Councilor Greenberg. I thought it would be cool to send them one of our uh, monthly packets. A link. <laughs> oh, do, could you send the book? Not the book, <laughs> but a link to a packet, the 88 pages, so <laughs> uh, they can see the amount of, <laughs> on a typical month, the amount of stuff that comes through and what it looks like, mm -hmm. the format, the documentation, mm -hmm. and that can be just a, you know, this is a run-of-the-mill month, and mm -hmm. someone has to put this together, you know what I mean? Yeah. They should be able to through deductive reasoning go, I'm going to be putting this together, something like this. This is their expectation each month. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is the task and duty, the raw task and duty. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say, just on some of the videos, they, they mentioned they've seen that. I mean, they've been mm -hmm. looking at the minutes and watching the meetings. So. Well, maybe they've already seen it done. Mm -hmm. I, I, w I would hope. If, if I was going into something like this, I'd... I was thinking about it, even when they were doing that attachment here, they said the judges watched our meeting minutes you know, and, and deciding the case. So I think if you're going to apply for the administrative position and it's all there on, on video and electronically, mm -hmm. the packets are there, I, I would scour it. It's pretty amazing now. I've talked to exactly two candidates, one I initiated and one the candidate. I were in this game here, they'd be calling me. Yes. I'm not going to lie to them. I, I know the one that you initiated. <laughs> um, the one that initiated you, are they on the list? No. <laughs> no. The one I initiated dropped out. Yeah, but the so other one. Maybe that's said. why they're not calling. <laughs> but the other one that called you. Yes. Are Still. they on the list? Yes. On the finalist? Good. And the other thing I would expect, pardon me, but the other thing I would expect is when they go over to the city offices, that should be small talk, right? That's what you I know. think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Um, uh -huh. How does the existing, how, how do they feel like they were welcomed uh, when they got there? Yeah. Um, what questions do they have of this staff about you and about the conditions mm -hmm. around here? Why the hell wouldn't you use that resource? It's going to be the most genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even when they yeah. come and see our city hall, 
It'll be interesting. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember the look on the county's face when they came out here for their meeting one day. All right. Anything else? Oh, we've got, uh, we'll, we'll link them to the budget, the audit, the city profile, the comp plan. We'll have an RCA sample. They'll get a chance to meet staff, and, and uh, if they so choose, they can ask questions themselves. Sure. Um, we can show the paint by numbers example, what we're trying to do in that respect. And then ideally, they have, uh, oh, and we'll have a link to the packet. But uh, they can watch our meetings. They, they'll, they'll recognize the room if they've watched our meetings online. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Maybe we could put a chair up against the hole in the wall over there before they come. Probably put those tables. <laughs> <table. laughs> <laughs> right. you, you think that's a folding table, but it's not really. It's a wall. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be six items that we would send out to the, the finalists then. Budget, audit, profile, comp plan, packet, and RCA. Is that what you had? Correct. Would we give them our YouTube channel address? That's on the website. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can find it. Okay. All right, anything else? So if we simplify the RCA uh, to have them write one. There's three or four or five variables. This is what the council wants to have you write about. Go do. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to try and collect that beforehand. Or is it all going to come to the same collision the same night? Do we say, hey, we'd like to have you do this, but get it done by, I don't know, a number of days beforehand? And, and you I, guys really don't have to go ahead and do that. I think we might want to have that due on July 1st. Okay. And then, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but then, Frank, would you review those? And, and That was my next write. question. Who wants... Uh, right. You guys are the judges, really. You decide whether or not an RCA... I, I, I think that you... They sent them, sent them to you by July 1st, and, and that's still 10 days before the first interview. Correct. And, and just... Part of the packet, like you did this, send it out to the council and say, "Here's the, here's the six RCA submittals, and we can have that as part of our packet when we're interviewing." Okay. And we'll get questions that we're all going to take turns answering, like we did with the. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah, I'll. I'll uh, we've got some, you know, proposed questions, but. Uh, I will certainly uh, send that out, and then you can tweak, change, add different things, um, you know, different topics, things that you, you think are lacking in there. So I'll send that out. We'll get that all done well in advance. So. All right, I've got a couple of those questions, so we'll see how they fit with what you send out, and then we can send back saying, here's... And, and what I did is, is I threw a couple of questions, roughly drafted a couple of questions, but then I put why I would ask that question, what I'm looking, the reason I would ask that. So it's, so it, if you can tweak it so it's professional and legal, but the idea that here's what I'm hoping they expound on. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, anything else, Pat? No, I think that we've that you guys have given me some good direction on, on where to go. What I will do is uh, I will work on putting together an agenda, and then if any uh, applicant information uh, changes, I'll be sure to reach out to everybody and let them know where we're at with numbers. But as of tonight, we're at six. So thank you thank for your time. Frank, anything? No, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Council, anything Council else? No. Nope. All right. I second. We have a motion and a second. We are adjourned.